today once again uh, we are continuing with our Google Classroom tutorials. The last time, the last video, I talked about class management. And on class management, as you can see on this video, we managed to create topics for this module, which is module MSU 103, MSU principles, uh, introduction to principles for week one. We managed to create an assignment. We managed to post a, vid a material, which is our introduction. We managed to create another topic for week two, which is dynamic of principles. So today I'm going to show you how you are going to teach online if you want to teach your module online. Uh, as you are teaching online, what you only need is a computer connected to the internet as well as a webcam. You will need a webcam, so a laptop with a webcam will be suffice enough for you to deliver a lecture online to your students. Right, as you are logged in, you go to the module which you want to teach. Then on that module, we are going to see a section here which is written Meet. You click on Meet. Here on Meet, you are going to create a meeting with your students or you are going to create a lecture with your student. Right, as soon as you see your face appearing here, it means your camera is working and it's now connected to your Google Classroom. Now what you need to do is to join now. You click on join now. As soon as you click on join now, here you are going to add people uh, manually or you can just ignore that part and your students will be able to join your lecture from their portal, right? So as soon as you are connected, right now I am now connected to this meeting and whatever I am going to teach, whatever I am going to talk, whatever I am going to deliver, the students will be seeing live online. My students will be seeing, will be watching me live online. So whatever you are seeing is what the students I will be seeing online on my uh, Google class. There is another uh, important thing where you can record a lecture. In recording a lecture, what we mean is to say, as you are delivering your lecture live online, there may be other students who would want to watch the lecture later, or you might want to save your lecture for later use, or there are students who are offline who would want to uh, follow you on your lecture, right? What you are going to do on our Google Classroom, we are going to go to these three dots on the far, right bottom corner of your screen if you click on that you are going to see where it's written record meeting right record meeting the moment you click on record meeting you are asked for consent uh, you will accept right as soon as you accept there is uh, a red icon which is written rec rec for record on the top right corner as soon as it gets red it means you are now recording your lecture, which means everything you are saying uh, is being recorded and you can save it for later purpose. You can save it so that you share on your Google Classroom so that students may come later and view the same video. They come to a point where you want to present, you want to do presentations, perhaps you have uh, some workings to show, perhaps you have an Excel document that you want to work with, perhaps you have a Word document that you want to work with, or you have pictures that you want to show to your students, or you may be having a slideshow which you want to show to your students, or which you want to use in guiding your lecture as you follow through a slideshow, right? So what you are going to do, you are going to add a presentation to your video or to your lecture. So as you are lecturing, as you want to present, you go to the bottom right corner, there is a section which is written present now. If you click click on present now, uh, you will see your entire screen or a window. What this means is that before presenting, the students are just seeing your face and hearing your voice. There is no presentation taking place. This is what they are seeing. But now when you want to present, 
you are saying you want to show something to your students. So what I'm going to do here is to use uh, this section, sorry for that, which is your entire screen. I want to show my students my entire screen wherever they are so that they see whatever I am presenting. So I will click on your entire screen. As you click on your entire screen, this window pops up. Then I'm going to select my screen here. I have selected my screen. Then I will share students. Whatever I do on this laptop, uh, if I click on a window, right, that's what the students will be seeing. They are seeing my face on the other part as well as seeing uh, my presentation. So what I'm going to do, I have opened uh, all the documents that I wanted to present before the beginning of the lecture. If I click on a photo, which I'm going to use for presentation, and it appears on my screen, it means the students are seeing this photo on their screens. So I can present, they will be hearing my voice as, as I am presenting on this uh, photo that I have for my lecture to aid as a visual aid for my lecture. So I am going to present on this photo as the students will be watching this photo as well as seeing my photo on the corner of their screen, right? After presenting on this photo and I am going to my slideshow, right this slideshow i am going to teach my students from this slideshow and whatever is happening on this slideshow i can also maximize this slideshow uh, so that the presentation may be visible for the students now so i will be presenting on this slideshow which is Midland state university student e-learning portal and i will navigate through my slideshow using my mouse or my cursor on the computer from one slide to the other, to the other, doing explanations to my students. And when I am done with my slideshow, I am going to exit my slide. Then I am going to go to another presentation that I am going to make to my students, which is an Excel document. I want to work something on an Excel document. This is what the students will be seeing on their screen. So. It's up to me, I can zoom in or zoom out for visibility sake. So I can zoom out or zoom in uh, my Excel document. When I am done with this Excel sheet, I can continue with my lecture uh, without presentation, uh, continuing explaining some other things on my lecture. And after that, whatever I will be doing, those presentations and whatever I am saying, Remember, we are recording this lecture. So all those presentations are being recorded as they appear on the screen. Whatever I am saying, my audible voice is being recorded on this uh, class because we enabled the recording of this class so that the recording will be used later on, right? So when I am done presenting, I can stop my presentations. I can stop my presentation. I click here on stop presenting, stop presenting. As soon as I stop my presentation, my face comes back to the screen and I will continue with my lecture. What I have ended or what I have finished is presentation and not the lecture. The lecture is still on. I am still continuing to lecture my students and I can even uh, go back to presentation to present something else. Well, I am done with the lecture. I am now going to stop the lecture, which I have been lecturing my students. How do I stop my lecture? Uh, on the center there, bottom center of my screen, there are three uh, icons there. The center icon, which is in red, which says leave call. I will click on this, and this is going to leave the call. What I have done here, I have stopped the lecture. The lecture is now off, right? I have stopped the lecture. Uh, now, after stopping the lecture, I can go back to my uh, Google Classroom. Uh, on the Google Classroom, remember, it's, I am no longer in the lecture. So what I am going to do, I am going to wait for my presentation. I am going to wait for the recording, 
which we I was doing, and this recording is being processed on Google. And as it is, it is being processed, it is going to be mailed to me on my email. I will get an email notification to tell me that the presentation or the recording that I was doing has been saved to my Google Drive. So as soon as I get that email, I will go to my Google Drive on my email, right? If this is your email, if you go to the right corner, you will see these nine dots. If you click on those nine dots, there is this drive. And this drive is my Google Drive. As soon as I open this Google Drive, I will see uh, whatever is on my uh, Google Drive. And this is where I am going to find the, pre the lecture that I was recording. So when I find this lecture, which I was recording, I can share this lecture on my Google Classroom. Uh, maybe it was for week two. I will go back and share the lecture as material. This I showed you uh, the last time how you share a material. You go to create, you go to material, uh, you select, you add the material, you select a, a, a video, you upload the video, you write whatever you want to write, and you post it to your students. Then any student who comes after the end of the lecture, the student will be able to see the video with all the presentations that were there on the video. Thank you so much. That is for today. We will continue uh, as we explore more on our Google Classroom. Thank you. Wish you the best.